Hey guys! Big hair don't care, right? <laughs> I feel like my hair is so huge. It's really humid outside today. You'll probably hear the wind blowing. It's been pouring down the rain. But I'm so excited, excited to be finally sitting down and filming my Finish 16 lip products in 2016. This is my second update and progress has been made. There is a side note to it because I have lost a product that I added in last time. The Clinique Black Honey. Uh, it was the deluxe sample. I just had a little bit left and I cannot find it. I have tore the house apart. So, oh well, if I find it, you'll be the first to know. So, let's start with... Uh, since I've only finished one product previously, I'll go ahead and show it. But from here on out, I'm not going to show all the products I finished. I am hanging on to them. And then at the end of this year, I will, you know, show you everything. But I'm not going to keep showing the stuff I've used up in every update. But this was the thing I had used up last time. It's one of these Bite Dual Endy Lipsticks. This is the one in... Date, I believe. It's either date or fig, but I had used that one up in the last update. And now to the exciting stuff. I used up the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Hot Toddy. Um, I was, I started it right there in this project. In the last update, I was there. And, da -da -da. and the way I did this, I guess I should have already said this, but what is? <laughs> What is? I originally started this project with four products, and then in my last update, I added in four. I had a total of eight products going in the last update, and I had already used up one. And anyway, I had four products, and then I added in some more. So that was my whole idea: was not to pick out the whole sixteen at the beginning of the year to be stuck with those products, because for me. It'd just be easier that way but at the end of this video you'll be like uh, I thought you were not gonna pick out a bunch of products because I have <laughs> picked out a bunch to work on but first let's talk about all the stuff I finished Buxom Hot Toddy love 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 this love the mintiness love the color everything about it where have these been all my life favorite lip gloss ever so that is done and then <clears throat> from the OG products, the Dior, Dior Show Lip Maximizer. I started out here, and the last day of update I was here, and then now I took the stopper out of this one and the Hot Toddy, and I wanted to tell you, so I have found, what did I do with them? Oh, here they are. I found these, I believe, at CVS, the Studio 30, no, Walgreens. I think Walgreens Studio 35 Beauty flopped applicators and they're 24 disposable little applicators and these are perfect for getting down into these lip gloss tubes especially these ones that are smaller because <clears throat> you take the stopper out but the little wand doesn't go all the way to the bottom so I used this to get down in there and dig it out. And what I actually did was I had one for this one and I just kept it like down in there and stuck both of these down in there at the same time to kind of keep them closed a little bit, but not all the way, but you know what I mean. I used this, I used one for this and then I used a different one for the smaller one because this had a bunch of products left at the bottom. And I'm not going to take the stopper out of everything, uh, but if I really enjoy the products, I'm going to. I love the Lip Maximizer. It gives you a tingle. I don't know about plumping and all that stuff, but I love the tingle that this gives. And the Buxom has that tingle, but it's not as much as the Dior. Um, but yes, okay. And then I finished the Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle in Raspberry and Opal. This is the kind that pumps up. I started down here and then last update I was here and I finished that much. This, I did not like the color, 
it felt good on my lips, but the color had that opal in it, so it had the shimmer. The applicator is crap because you have to click it, and then the stuff gets stuck in here sometimes, so then you have to squeeze it, and then there's a bunch popping out, and this is like a hot mess of a product, but I finished it, so I powered through that one. I also, uh, so those were the four original products when I started this project. They are all done. And the last update, I added in one of these sugar, uh, fresh sugar lip balms. And I finished this. Um, I started out there. And I had a mark here because I was going to film a video. But I never got around to it. So I used that much product since the last update. Love these. Love these. Love these. I have several more of these deluxe sample size. And then I have... A EOS Sweet Mint Lip Balm that I finished up in my Finish 7 by St. Patrick's Day. And I said at the beginning of this that any lip products I finish through the year, I'm going to count toward this project. Because 16 it seemed like a really huge number to me to begin with. But anyway, I did finish this as much as I'm going to. I'm comfortable calling that done. So, yes. <clears throat> and... That is it for all of the products I have finished up completely. So I'm up to one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six down and I realize they're not all full size products. They're not difficult products, but for me, it's great, wonderful. I'm super excited about it. And it's motivated me to add in several more. Um, I still have some that are still in the project before I start adding more products. Okay, I have the Clinique Chubby Stick in Graped Up, and my mark had rubbed off of this. I have used quite a bit of it, but I did remark it because I didn't want my mark to rub off, and I put some tape over the mark so I wouldn't um, lose my mark again. But I have used this quite a bit. I do enjoy it. Light wash color, moisturizing, my kind of jam. <clears throat> and also the CoverGirl Lip Liner in Plum. I used this in conjunction with the Clinique one, and I have used from the blue line to the black line. That's how much I used, and I enjoy it. It's all right. So these two, I'm not sure if I will continue to work on these right now or if I will kind of hang back and wait till after the summer to jump back on these. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's how it plays out. But, <clears throat> I also have a NARS Rakugian lip pencil that's in my Finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. And I'm right here. And I show the pro progress of this product in those videos. But, I'm hoping this will be gone. I'm hoping I can get this gone pretty soon. I am ready for Rakugian to be done and over with. This was a full size that... I purchased before I realized it was a birthday gift last year, so I do have another one of these. Anyway, and I also have two oddball uh, lip products that are in my Project Use It Up that I do monthly ba on a monthly basis. But uh, I have the Bite Agave Lip Mask, and I started out and it was pretty much brand new, and I'm here to it. If I'm not throwing it around, I'm here on it. Um, so, yeah, I'm working on this. Figured I would show it since it's a lip product. And then, same with the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish. I'm using this. So, yes. Both of these products, just so you know, I could live without. I feel like they're nothing special for sure. But I am going to use them because I have them. And then, to the exciting part, for me at least, because I'm, I'm like motivated <laughs> to use some stuff up okay i have a another buxom full-on lip polish in sophia wait a minute sophia 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 <laughs> what movie is that from you tell me okay and the same with this one i was gonna do an update i had all my stuff together and i didn't get a chance to film it but this is where it was when i started using this for this project and then um, this is where I am 
Now, you can't hardly tell it's been on its side and all that, but I'm about right here. Love, love, love. This is an easy color to use. Oh, love these. I don't know if I will go without a Buxom lip gloss in my stash from now on. I'm just addicted. And here's another one which will be a little bit more difficult. It's the Full On Lip Cream in Berry Blast. And this is the color of it on my lips. So it's going to be more difficult to use. I'm right here on it. So I figured now would be a good time to throw this in. Spring, summer, you know, probably only use it when I'm at home. and <laughs> Nobody will see me with berry lips. Okay. <clears throat> Now I'm going to talk about a few more NARS lip pencils. These have been with me for quite a while, so I need to get these bad boys used up. This is a NARS Velvet Gloss Lip Pencil in New Lover, and it is a pinky peach. And then I have the Velvet Gloss Lip Pencil in Happy Days, which is a coral, and I fi figured that these will be easy, fun to use up this time of year and this is where I am I'm basically the same on um, both of them they are I marked it on the this birch box box anyway so maybe I won't lose this I lose the piece of paper all the time so there's where I'm starting with these these are like full-size products so I'm trying to challenge myself with some bigger products and then <clears throat> I also have this Dior uh Dioratic Lip Glow, and I don't have this marked anywhere, but I will mark it. Um, it's just like a balm. Instead of using another one of the fresh ones, I figured I would go for this one. Try to get it used up since it's a full-size product, and just give me a boost of confidence. And I don't think this is amazing either, so my two cents. Okay, and then here's three products that just kind of don't do it for me but I, I feel like I could power through them because they're small this is a Bobbi Brown uh, one of her I don't know lip glosses in Bellini it's just a little sample but this thing is just straight up shimmer I mean it when you put it on your lips you can even see that it's just straight up shimmer it's a shimmer balm so I'm gonna try to power this power power through this and get it going and I have one of these um, bare minerals pop a passion lip things this was a gift with purchase and it's in pink passion which y'all know how I feel about pink I'm not the biggest fan of pink it's so funny I was watching Manny MUA last night and he was talking about pinks not looking good on him and I'm like you and me both sister um, but yeah, this, it's not very much. I do have it marked here. So yeah, I'm going to try to just power through this one too. And then this just pisses me off flat out, pisses me off every time I look at it. It's a Givenchy La Rouge a Porter. It was a hundred point perk and I was super excited. They make you feel like it's going to be really nice. It's in this little box. It's got the little rolling papers and all this make you feel fancy. And then it's a little plastic tube. It's got this much product in it, literally. I have put this on my lips twice. It's got this much product on it, and it's it's not nothing. There's nothing to it. So I I'm I want to use this. I'm gonna use this up because every time I look at my lip products and I see this, it just makes me mad that I wasted 100 points on it. Anyway, there is all of my products. I have so many going on. I'll try to list them down below for you. I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you real soon. Bye.